Hi, I'm Mike McShane. I'm a professor in the Department of Biomedical Engineering and also in the Materials Science and Engineering Department here at Texas A&M. And the work that my lab focuses on is developing smart materials or materials that can be used to respond to their environment. And we design them so they can be implantable and they induce some sort of a color change that we can then measure uh, optically through the skin as an indication of what's going on in the body in terms of, of body chemistry. So one of the materials that has come out of this kind of work is the subject of this recent paper by myself and my graduate student Jason Roberts and Dustin Ritter, another graduate student. And this material is unique because it's a combination of tiny microspheres that are suspended in a hydrogel and we design them or we engineer them so that um, they can control the rate at which the hydrogel forms so we can inject it as a liquid and it becomes a, a, a soft solid material later and when it does that it also turns these microparticles into microcapsules and these capsules then have uh, the ability to contain molecules that are functional things that can be released as drugs for example or react with body chemistry in order to um, induce that color change that we then measure as a sensor. An, an example of how we might use this material would be to design it so that it responds to a change in glucose in the blood and then we would make that material as a liquid inject it into the body where it would then form a, a soft solid material like under the skin and then it would be there in place where we inject it and we can then place a, an optical device over the top of it, something like a, a wand or a laser pointer or, or a cell phone even, that would then make a measurement through the skin of the color of that implant and that would tell us what the glucose level in the blood is, which would be obviously useful for people with diabetes. Um, we can engineer these materials to respond to other molecules which would be important for other chronic diseases like kidney failure uh, and as we said we could design them to so that instead of responding by changing their color we can design them to respond by releasing a drug um, that might counteract something that's gone wrong in the metabolism. So the unique part of this material is the combination of these microspheres with the hydrogel materials and we form these microspheres by actually creating nanoparticles in a beaker or in a test tube and we form them by uh, combining salts that are insoluble and they form tiny little nanoparticles that then come together and form microspheres that have pores in them and when they do this if we if we put them in a suspension containing the uh, some active molecule that we want to encapsulate then those microspheres will form and within their pores there'll be these active molecules will be entrapped. So this combination of microspheres, the polymer coatings, the materials that are encapsulated and the hydrogels is unique and it's, it's a system that's very tunable in its properties so we can totally control and adjust how rapidly the hydrogel will form, um, how quickly small or large molecules can diffuse in and out of the material, how it will respond to its environment in terms of changing its color, and how it will release things if we want them to be released.